Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm waiting till everyone is switched on to our today's live stream. Uh, with you, as usual, is uh, Victoria Vlasova and the Luke's Private School. I'm very happy to see uh, those who will come and who will participate in our today's live stream. Uh, today's live stream is going to be a little bit political, a uh, little bit economical either. Uh, we are going to talk and to find some uh, deals uh, and some ways out probably after consideration and after um, uh, communication about the principal events on the world's arena uh, concerning Ukraine, concerning the country where we live. Yes, and uh, it's um, its goodness and its benefits on the world's arena and of course United States of America Mr. Trump's president uh, reaction and attitude and uh, further steps that uh, are going to be taken versus Ukraine. Uh, of course when we start speaking and discussing this topic uh, of course we cannot uh, mention and we cannot stand uh, alone the country that is called, uh, the name is Russia. Of course, today we are going to uh, name also the uh, integration and uh, uh, possible uh, actions of Russia that they are going to make and to implement on the world sovereign. Exactly uh, Mr. Trump, uh, Mr. Putin's actions and uh, we are going to make some contrastive, uh, contrastive analysis, critical analysis of what's going on uh, in the country and what uh, fruitful uh, and blossoming uh, results Ukraine can get, Ukraine can receive. And of course, uh, I would like to listen to your opinions because uh, uh, so many minds, so many uh, th thoughts on it. And of course, my thoughts uh, that uh, would be clarified today, they're really, so to say, subjective. Yeah, and every one of you has subjective ideas. That's why let's uh, consider all together. Yes, let's consider uh, the main uh, actions and the main plots of it. And I do believe that you will be integrated in, uh, in our talk today. So one more time, good morning, Trump and Persian committing for today and further cooperation. Okay, so first of all, uh, it should be said uh, that uh, the meeting happened uh, the 20th of June. Yeah, 20th of June. It happened uh, in the United States of America. Mr. Poroshenko, Ukrainian president, and Mr. Trump. Uh, hello, Olchka. Hello. During our conversation today, it's politics. Uh, so, 20th of June, uh, Ukrainian leader. Um, Ukrainian leader uh, arrived to United States of America. Yeah, if you know already anything about his meeting, how he was met, uh, how he was uh, uh, interviewed, met uh, first steps after coming to uh, to White House. Yeah, uh, please write in your commentaries, and uh, all together we will discuss how was it and what results uh, Ukraine has got for its uh, uh, dwellers, for its uh, inhabitants, citizens, and what actually Ukraine might have uh, in future after uh, reaction and action of uh, the United States of America, uh, external politics to Ukraine. So in Washington, uh, Petro Poroshenko visited the White House on Tuesday, the 20th of um, June, um, many uh, sources, uh, many media sources like Russian uh, ones, because uh, I read uh, while I was preparing for this uh, live stream, uh, I was getting prepared by American media, I was getting prepared by Russian media and by Ukrainian media. That's why now uh, I would like to quote a little bit from CNN, uh, CNN Politics, uh, uh, article, by the way, I can send you uh, the link also, it's like a new practice, yeah, you can have a possibility to uh, to check, to, 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 to see 
uh, to read, yeah, and to have uh, an idea about it. So as uh, CNN tells us, um, uh, it's not like positive and bright full colors of it, but uh, it says the media that Ukrainian president wasn't greeted by the traditional pomp and circumstance that comes uh, with it that a foreign leader meeting with the president of the United States was not very prominent, was not very uh, pompous, yes, uh, and uh, probably Russian medias can make a big deal out of it. Uh, we can't say, we can't be exactly um, uh, sure uh, about how it was because some other sources tell me, media sources, that actually it's uh, the meeting, the, the uh, president meeting was according to the standard, it was completely according to the United States of America standard of accepting guests uh, of the of such political level yeah so everything was uh, concerning the protocol it's another it's a British source media source that tells us uh, well so coming uh, coming back to analyzing sin and politics yeah uh, Poroshenko uh, as uh, media treats him is viewed as an enemy to Russian uh, to Russian leaders in Moscow and uh, CNN media prescribes and describes uh, this meeting like drop by. Uh, drop by it's like a spontaneous meeting of uh, uh, of someone yeah so uh, they stand like uh, it was like a dropping by of Poroshenko to, uh, to White House uh, moreover, they even say that uh, the Vice President Mike Pence, Mr. Pence, uh, according to the White House schedule, met uh, Mr. Poroshenko. But um, I cannot uh, totally agree with the misconception, uh, misconception of this event, uh, of this meeting, because uh, actually Mr. Pence uh, it's a personality who um, who concretely possesses the aspects of uh, a relationship between the United States of America and Ukraine. And um, to my point of view, to my deep concern, I do believe that, uh, and one more time, accepting the protocol uh, of political relationship and coordination, I do not see any misconception in it. Uh, Mr. Pence, he is accredited. Uh, and uh, dealing with his position that he takes uh, like a vice president. Um, for me, it's okay that he was previously scheduled and met by Mr. Pence, uh, because uh, probably, not probably, but it must be that they had some uh, detailized uh, talkings before a concrete meeting with Mr. Trump. And of course, uh, it, uh, it's, it's like a normal fact concerning the protocol, concerning the standards of, uh, of receiving, of obtaining uh, such political guests, and I mean any political guests in, in the White House. Uh, speaking about concrete uh, and detailized uh, actions, Trump uh, told to reporters, Anna, hello, during our meeting today, uh, uh, we are talking about politics, uh, follow us. Okay, so Trump told the reporters that uh, um, he was briefly allowed into the room, uh, that a lot of progress has been made in relations with the United States and Ukraine, and uh, all of it can seem to be like very short uh, discussion, very short meeting, yes, with new uh, clustered ideas to be taken off it. Uh, of course, there is another uh, conception and there is another source that tells us that actually uh, speaking about uh, YouTube channels performing, yes, they presented um, uh, they presented this meeting to us rather like formal, uh, of course, uh, non-verbal professionals who uh, were observing and who were visualizing the uh, meeting, they can say that uh, there were, were uh, too many claps uh, by Mr. Poroshenko on his uh, knee. Uh, and probably it was the symbol of uh, his panic or something else. 
Mr. Trump uh, opposite. He was very uh, strict, direct. Uh, uh, he was very short also. So people uh, might treat uh, this meeting like very uh, airy, like very streamy, without any uh, deep consensuses. But uh, otherwise, uh, as I know from the media resources, uh, that uh, tell us uh, concerning other deep um, uh, positions to be discussed and to have been discussed while the um, uh, meeting. It was not like much of public, but it was either uh, more confidential, but uh, they also talked uh, not privately only with uh, uh, Mr. Trump, but there will, were also such figures involved like Mr. Pence, Mr. Tillerson, Mr. Mattis, and uh, also there was a, um, a meeting with the Ministry, Minister of Energetics of the United States of America. Uh, I will follow this a little bit later, I will tell you the information. So, um, regarding the uh, profoundness and regarding the uh, main, main um, clusteral uh, problems, issues, even not problems, but issues that Ukraine has nowadays, uh, it's rather uh, settled, it was rather settled, and uh, uh, dealing with, uh, regarding the, uh, the main uh, questions to be discussed, yes, and the main future plans, as for me, um, as for me, it was regulated and it was highly proclaimed on both sides and for two uh, sides of uh, Ukrainian and uh, American parties. Well, concerning um, concerning, uh, if you ask me, uh, the meeting with Mr. Putin, Russian president, uh, the president of Russia, uh, before uh, before the meeting, the twentieth of June. Uh, there had be, uh, been much discussions concerning who would be the first uh, to meet with the uh, uh, White House, with the President, who would be the first to uh, participate uh, in uh, dealing with the political sides of uh, both countries that will have an influence, big influence all over the world. Of course, uh, much people treated and much people said that uh, the question was to Russia to be the first country uh, to have a meeting with Mr. Trump, but um, not at all. Uh, now we see another another information, and uh, we know exactly that Mr. Trump had already had a meeting uh, with uh, um, uh, with Poroshenko, 20th of June, and uh, Mr. Putin will arrive to the White House uh, only in the context in the meeting of G20. And it will happen, um, as far as I know, the resources tell me, the 7th, 8th of July. Uh, so the uh, country Russia, together with Mr. Putin, the president, they will have the second stamp, step, uh, of course, uh, after Ukraine, because we had already had uh, this meeting. Of course, people, my dear students uh, who listen to us, you may be... Uh, integrated and involved uh, in our today's discussion. Uh, I will be very grateful to listen to your ideas and to listen to your uh, positions that you have concerning this meeting. Probably we will get you know, something more, uh, more familiar, more detailed. So you're welcome to join our today's live stream with me, Victoria Vlasova. And uh, we are going on. Uh, we are going on. So if you ask the question about either the um, uh, events uh, in Ukrainian politics uh, have uh, fastened after this, uh, this meeting and either we have any uh, changes uh, nowadays, right now, of course, uh, we can't say that uh, uh, everything is going very fastly and everything is going very quickly. Uh, of course, uh, of course, of course, of course, I do believe and definitely uh, we will have some fruitful uh, circumstances uh, over Ukraine and probably over Ukrainian-Russian relations, uh, yeah, in the nearest future. 
but uh, uh, right now we can speak only about uh, about position of sanctions yes and about the uh, position of Ukraine of salvation so to say the Ukraine and the the, the certain eastern regions of Ukraine uh, and of course dealing with the um, position of Russia occupant position of Russia with it uh, we do believe that uh, uh, this meeting uh, will have a positive and uh, beneficial impact uh, uh, for Ukraine and uh, not only for Ukraine but uh, for all concerning United States uh, Eastern world. Well, so coming back to uh, further positions that uh, um, might have a, an impact for Ukraine, yeah? a concrete impact for Ukraine, uh, so the first, uh, uh, the first, uh, yeah, um, after official ceremony and after official formal, uh, formal, so to say, meeting in the Oval Cabinet, uh, of course, we can see that my, exactly my uh, um, subjective position, yes, that uh, uh, as for me, according to the general picture, there was found a consensus uh, of uh, positive conception, yes, of uh, positive conception between Trump and uh, between uh, Poroshenko. Uh, it was like a human contact. We can say that it was a human contact, yeah, because we can, if you know uh, the meeting of uh, Macron, uh, Trump Macron and uh, uh, the picture of Trump and Merkel, uh, we can see that uh, in contrast, yes, in the opposite contrast with these two uh, officials from, uh, um, from another countries, yes, and uh, meeting uh, Mr. Peroshenko, I can find uh, definitely the common language and the human, human personal positive contact between them. Okay, uh, the second position, the second position uh, concerning uh, uh, Vice President Mr. Pence. Um, Mr. Pence, uh, uh, it's a personality uh, in the uh, United States of America who coordinates, yeah, I have already told you about it, he coordinates everything concerning uh, all aspects of uh, life in Ukraine like Biden, but not in such, uh, uh, in such details. Uh, he also treats, Mr. Pence also treats the uh, assistance to Ukraine, the help uh, uh, to Ukraine, to our country in any sort of it. And uh, uh, NATO problems uh, and uh, clusters, of course, reforms and council. Uh, as far as I know, as far as I am concerned, um, Mr. Pence, uh, like, uh, 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 like, is a fixer between United States of America and Ukraine, and I do believe that uh, uh, thanks to Mr. Pence, Mr. Trump possesses much of information and deals with uh, the details that he knows about Ukrainian. Uh, cooperation and Ukrainian partnership uh, versus informative clusters. Okay, uh, the second, the third, uh, the third cluster is uh, um, uh, talks with Mr. Tillerson, uh, who coordinates uh, uh, such projects, big uh, political projects as Minsk to add to uh, question sanctions uh, against Russian Federation. Uh, he also supported the initiative of uh, uh, Mr. Tuchinov, but for more, he made it more flexible and more combined politics. Uh, uh, I do believe that you know about it, the actions that happened in Donbass. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, he also, Mr. Tillerson, supported uh, Ukrainian uh, politics concerning sanctions against Russian Federation that they must stay, yeah, they must uh, be like permanent uh, without any elimination of them. And of course, they must be intensified, they must be forced uh, if uh, in case Russian Federation makes or forcifies its aggression attitude uh, towards eastern regions of uh, uh, Ukraine and uh, towards uh, peaceful inhabitants. Okay, uh, the next position, number four, uh, to clarify, it's uh, Marius, uh, um, 
what what happens actually in this deal uh, now we have the uh, preparation of the contract of the agreement uh, between Ukraine and United States of America concerning the military technical cooperation actually as for me I'm against everything that deals with uh, a weapon uh, which deals with uh, military um, aggression actions and so on but uh, uh, regarding the situation and regarding the uh, state of uh, the world that we have now, uh, I think uh, I would support it. Mashinka, good morning, uh, during our political topic today. Uh, yes, and uh, I do believe that it's right uh, concerning um, Mr. Mattis' uh, relation on uh, the military technical cooperation because uh, such uh, agreement Ukraine has already had with uh, Poland, it has already had, uh, Masha, please, it has already had with Great Britain, with Turkey, with Canada. Yes, why not to have it with the United States of America? Uh, regarding that uh, all deals that we can see on the political opened arena, it's not against, it's almost even for, uh, for it. Because we can regard this military, um, military technical cooperation like not uh, too much, uh, uh, too much aggressive. Yes, it's rather to be uh, right now peaceful. I do believe it's, it, it will going on to be peaceful also. Well, so what uh, uh, dealing about this contract, about this agreement, um, uh, Ukraine, United States of America. Military agreement, military technical agreement, yes, uh, it uh, uh, provides the mutual uh, distribution, the mutual distribution of uh, weapon, uh, the interchanging of uh, technologies, of experience of using these technologies, of uh, special licenses, specialists, uh, uh, spies, uh, mm, uh, spice professionals, yeah and uh, so on and so forth. So I do believe that it will also have a positive um, impact uh, for Ukrainian um, dealing with its, uh, uh, its own protection on the, um, uh, on the uh, internal uh, political uh, and military positions. Uh, well, uh, what else? Uh, speaking about the meeting uh, the meeting with the Minister of Energetics of the United States of, uh, of America. Uh, there were four questions uh, settled down uh, while discussing uh, uh, the main positions for energetics in the United States of America. Uh, so four questions about en energetic um, independence of Ukraine. Uh, probably it's another topic to be, be to be discussed because too much information in it. I will try to simplify it in small uh, in small uh, theses. Yes, if you, dear uh, students, might be interested in more profound way, write me to your commentaries, and probably I will definitely I will share with you some links, and you will have a possibility to read and to be more. Uh, intensified and more acknowledged uh, with this problem and uh, with this energetic uh, post positions and post cooperation with it but I will tell you some some clustered ideas so first it's uh, the blocking of North uh, Stream number two the second position it was the supply uh, to Ukraine the American gas uh, for me, actually, it's a very interesting uh, um, theme because uh, if you know how it's possible uh, regarding the transporting uh, and regarding the managing of uh, inputting it to your brain, write me also. And the next, uh, supplies not only of gas but also of uh, uh, American coal. Um, now, while I was reading this uh, report, I was actually very surprised, somehow surprised, because I know that Ukraine is uh, uh, maybe the richest country in uh, coal mining, in gas mining, in uh, uh, natural uh, resources mining, yeah, and uh, while I was preparing uh, uh, for today's uh, live stream, I got to know that actually 
dealing with the four questions of energetic independence of Ukraine, we got news, some facts that USA can help uh, to Ukraine. Uh, and the fourth position was also the supplying to Ukraine the American uh, any kind of uh, fossil fuels, uh, sometimes even nuclear fossil fuels. Uh, this uh, actually um, position I'm not totally supportive with. Uh, as I have already told you, I'm completely for green peace, for peace, uh, for everything that is for the goodness and for the prosperation of all countries. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, uh, what else to, to say? Um, what else to, to comment? Of course, uh, as for me, I do not find, uh, um, I do not find anything uh, concerning negative, uh, um, uh, negative downside uh, reflections of uh, meeting uh, Donald Trump or Shanka in the White House. Of course, Russian uh, side uh, uh, can treat it in uh, its beneficial uh, attitude, uh, resonance uh, factor. Uh, as for me, um, subjectively, uh, Ukrainian uh, part uh, had the first step and had the first violin uh, in this um, in this uh, international uh, meeting political meeting uh, so I do believe that it will of course positively uh, consequenced in Ukrainian correlation uh, not only with the United States but uh, in the whole world in European Union also uh, that's uh, like my uh, observative position. Mm, what else? Uh, uh, what else might might be told? We will see after seventh and eighth of July. Uh, probably we'll have another live stream uh, political that will contrast and will opposite uh, two uh, countries, Russia and uh, Ukraine. Well, three countries: the United States of America, also, and probably the fourth part. Uh, European Union uh, might be uh, to have uh, and to get some more details that I will definitely share with you and uh, of course we will have uh, uh, we will have other fruitful debates concerning it and uh, to finalize uh, I should say that as for me for my subjective opinion it was uh, the definite success for Ukraine Thank you, my dear guest today, who had a, a positive morning with Victoria Vlasova and the Duke's Private School. Today we discussed Mr. Trump's and Mr. Poroshenko meetings in White House, uh, the perspectives uh, and uh, the deepest analysis of their meetings. I do believe that you enjoyed even uh, even that it was morning and topic a little bit uh, controversial. Uh, see you in the, our next uh, live streams with uh, new topics that might hot you on. Uh, have a nice day, enjoy it, and see you very, very soon. All the